Hey what's up guys you are watching for tech few days back i had created video for the pixel s pen custom jsa bid for oneplus not 2 but finally we got the fully working custom rom pixel experience that old jsa build is good but has lots of bugs and to overcome that we need to fix some things in a phs table like quality bluetooth audio screen brightness etc and that is the universal jsa build so no dedicated device specific development for oneplus not 2 so this build is fully working i have shown how to install this rom what are the pixel phone features what's working what are the minor bugs and the performance but what about the battery i will now create the separate video for the full battery and the performance test for the different custom roms available for oneplus Nord 2 for now i have just given my general experience of the battery for the rom so watch the video till the end so without wasting your time let's get started on the new adventure Before going forward, we need the TWRP installed in your phone. Also keep the Android backup of current ROM and internal storage and keep them in a safe place in the PC for the future use. This build is flashable over any ROM like Oxygenos or custom ROM so download the Pixel S Frenzy from the link given under the video description. Now if you are on the custom ROM, we get the advanced reboot option for the power menu from the reboot to the TWRP. If you are on the Oxygenos, use the ADB reboot recovery command in the CMD. So people who are on the old Android 12 GSI builds or the ROMs and if you can't able to access the internal storage, so we need the USB OTG transfer the zip file inside the pen drive and connect it to the phone. Now tap mount and then tap select storage, then check mark the USB storage, now click install and flash the file. But people who are accessible to the internal storage, just click install, then locate the zip file, flash it. Now tap wipe, select the format data, type yes and then tap reboot to the system and you are done. Phone will take 1 to 2 minutes to boot so wait and do the setup, here I already done the setup. So let's jump to the settings about phone, here we are upgraded to Android 12 with the latest security patch of January 2022. This build is the latest build of 21st Jan 2022, so we are so lucky the MediaTek Nord 2 getting the amazing custom ROMs that we are never thought in the dreams. But now Android 12 beautiful easter egg comes in my dreams every day. It's really funny. So let's see why this build is called the Pixel Experience. So this ROM offers the, all the features of Google Pixel devices. So what are they? So let's check it out. As this is the Android 12 build, full monad theming available all over the ROM. Android 12 quick setting panel with the lots of custom tiles available to choose from the setting along with the game mode tile. Pixel launcher with all the goodies like the notification dots, at a glance, recent overview selections are available. In the recent we get the overview selection with the Google Lens, Copy, Share and Save options. New Android 12 volume panel, lock screen with the animation makes the device beautiful. Google Live Translate setting available inside the settings under the system. Quick tab gestures is available. To use this, we need to enable the tab and select any of the desired quick action like the screenshot, digital assistant, etc. Select and go back. Now you are able to access the desired action by just double tapping on the back of your phone. One handed mode by using this, we just need to swipe down the gesture pill at the bottom so we can access one handed mode or the notification panel anywhere in the phone. Press and hold the power button to access the Google Assistant. There is a dedicated setting to decide the press and the hold duration for the access. Full wallpaper based monad theming along with the dark mode and theme icon is available. We can also set up the wallpaper colors and the basic colors without applying the colors from the wallpapers. This monad theming takes the look of your device to the another level. The only word to describe this is the gorgeous. Other features are available under the settings display, there we get the lock screen setting and we can enable the always on display. This option also available in the ambient display setting. The dark theme setting is also available with the scheduler, for that we need to give the access to the location. So here is the ambient display, in this we get the AOD and the wake up gestures. We get the dedicated OnePlus setting, so here we get the smart charging along with the charging limit option. So we can limit the charging of the battery at the desired level to avoid the harm to the battery. Three performance profile modes we get here like balance, power saver and the performance mode. Double tap to wake setting is available but it's not working. I tried it but not succeed. 
Here we get the gaming mode. If we enable this and open any game and swipe back, we get the dedicated overlay gaming mode button. If you tap on it, we can set the screenshot, screen recording, FPS display and the advanced DND mode. Instead of this, we get the optimization and YouTube live for the streaming of your games. But optimization will be available only for the supported games. Overall, these gaming settings improve the gaming experience of gamer surely. Dedicated 60 and the 90 hertz setting available along with the smooth display. Dedicated vibrations control are available in the ROM. Here we get the low, medium and the high options. Vibration of this ROM is not as great as Oxon OS, but they are improved a lot. Up to the 90% just small improvement is needed. So what's working in the ROM? Everything works like the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot. Stable OLT calling is working, but it doesn't work on the first boot. Please go to the network and then enable and disable the OLT tab. If you are using the other SIM than the Geo, then dial star as star as 4636 star hash star and set the network to the LT only and reboot. Now your incoming and the outgoing call works. Bluetooth devices connecting and there is no need of any ATDP settings like in the GSI build. Just connect and play audio in the Bluetooth devices. Bluetooth devices supporting the high quality audio like the LDAC 2. GPS is working fine without any issues. It's detecting the location accurately. Surprisingly, ROM is passing safety net checks. So you can run the banking apps and the security apps on the log bootloader of your phone along with the Netflix with the HD resolution. Fingerprint working absolutely fine. It's working very fast. So useless feature like the NFC works here. Punch hole display working with the cutout notification in the status bar. Auto brightness works but sometimes it's buggy like increasing the auto brightness to the higher or the lower level at any condition. So as per my opinion keep it off and manually use the brightness. Sound in the speaker is working and it is loud enough. Well, you are watching Fortex. So the Galaxy Tab users, I didn't forget you. So don't be sad as I created the combined community post for the. So ROM has the two different camera application. One is normal cam application and the another is Google Go Cam. Go Cam is good, has a lots of features along with the live translate, but still you can use the Google G Cam mod. Link given under the video description. Install it. You will get the lots of features, all are working fine. Images quality is comparable to the stock Oxynos camera, so no need to worry about the cam. Soon our developers will port the Oxynos cam for the custom ROMs. So I tested the ROM thoroughly. The only bug I found is the alert slider not working. Instead of this, the only auto brightness seems buggy, but that is working with some flaws. So this build is completely daily usable. So let's see the performance, ROM is very snappy, no lags at all, but sometimes you may feel animation jitters randomly. App opening and the RAM management is very good, still I use the Geekbench test. It nearly gives me the score of 790 on the single core and the multi core is 2510. Actually first time when I booted the phone after the installation it gave me 2610 for the multi core. So no faith in these scores, they fluctuates with the temperature and the use of the device. So battery is not tested completely but as I told in the intro I will create the full battery test and the performance video soon but till now the battery seems ok not as good as stock oxygen OS but it will give the 5 hours of SOT and the 22 to 24 hours of nearly full day uses on the average use of your device. So that's it for today guys hope you like my work so please like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.